Do you think Sonic games take themselves too seriously? Sonic Frontiers is a terrible story and tries too hard to be depressing and doesn't have a real balance between dark and silly. Sonic Colors is childish and potentially not appealing. I'm tired of Sonic being family friendly. Boy, that escalated quickly. None of this is good, Vector. That's why it's called war. Comedy. No copyright law. Oh, shut up. Think about it. Fuck up. This controversial debate is one of the oldest debates ever. Sonic fans' idea of a darker plot. Death to the MPLA! Since the early 90s, Sonic had charisma like no other. Just look at his stance. Ooh, absolutely amazing. Sonic the Hedgehog was always meant to be cool, unlike the lame Super Mario dude. He was meant to appeal to the West, not just in style, but in tone too. It's very common when Eastern markets try to appeal to the West. They always make the game more serious, something opposite from the chibi kid stuff that the Eastern like. Sonic was for the Americans, and you know Americans are inconsistent because Sonic is just as inconsistent. Everyone and their mom knows that the Sonic franchise is the most confusing set of animated creatures of all time and inconsistencies causes controversies. Sonic in games, movies, and shows, all of them have different types of tones. But we're gonna focus on the main cause of this never-ending war. Family friendly or comedic tone and the serious tone. Some clearly love them and some clearly hate them. Oh, this is a magic trick? I signed it. It's a magic trick. Oh, wow. Yes! Shut. Because even though Sonic is a kid franchise, realistically, Sonic is for everyone. Sonic 1, 2, CD, and 3 were all an intense experience, all shown to you without being told. People really couldn't tell if the stories was lighthearted or dark. All we cared about was if Sonic was cool. You know, most of these Sonic debates I've talked about on this channel, or Sonic debates in general, because Sonic's identity crisis always started from the games. But let's just say it didn't start start with the games. This is one of the rare times where this never ending debate actually started with the shows. Sonic Saturday M and the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Simply by looking at these two you can tell there's a drastic difference in tone. One is darker and gloomy and one is a Saturday morning fun. And the most bizarre thing about it, they both came out in the same year, in 1993. Now the internet is literally new, but there are people who've been confused on what Sonic show is considered canon or what did they even watch in the first place. It's very rare when the same characters in two different shows at the same time but with different tones. Imagine a regular Spongebob and a whole nother show where Plankton took over Bikini Bottom. Yeah, that's pretty confusing. Sonic fans at the time were very confused on what direction Sonic was actually going. They wasn't sure if this franchise was family friendly or a teen franchise. And this confusion split the fan base up even more as there are dedicated light tone Sonic lovers who love the family friendly adventures and dark toned Sonic fans who love the thrill and drama of the franchise. The Archie comic series for instance dives into the complex stories involving multiple dimensions, time travel, and of course character relationships. I didn't really read the comics all that much, but there is a lot of very dramatic stuff during the 90s. Death, guns, and a whole lot of stuff I can't even name. People forget that between 1993 and 1997, the comics was realistically the only good set of Sonic media. There were barely any games, shows, and movies, so the very dramatized Sonic comics inspired a lot of Sonic fans that Sonic can be very serious at times. But I can most definitely tell you that, that the parents of these kids reading these comics, they were not so thrilled. They thought Sonic was a family friendly mascot like Mario. They didn't expect death, romance, and a funny looking mustache dude that must not be named. But that was in the comics. It might have inspired some Sonic fans that being serious is the way to go. The real debate didn't actually spark until Sonic Adventure came into the picture. Everyone knows that Sonic the Hedgehog took a huge risk going into 3D, but most importantly, taking a huge risk in storytelling too. The Adventure series were being advertised as the new step for the next generation. Sonic Adventure in general was being praised for being such a drastic but familiar change of the Sonic franchise. Since this is the first 
first time Sonic stories are actually front and center, including the fact that Sonic is actually speaking. People noticed that Sonic Adventure stories were thrilling enough to be a worthy entry of the series, and most importantly, be up the standard of the next generation. SA1 had the perfect touch of slapstick humor, thrilling motives, and just right tear jerkers like the Gamma story. Nothing overall too serious. Surprisingly, both sides of the fandom loved it, light tone and dark tone. It doesn't matter, but something changed in Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2 story-wise is considered one of the best Sonic stories ever told. The Sonic franchise literally revolves around this story, and Sonic Adventure 2 is what I like to call the middle ground, because it has the most serious situations in any other Sonic games ever, and the most goofiest, charming, and slapstick mix. It's the perfect balance. But sometimes, as Sonic fans, we have to step back and think, wait, this is Sonic the Hedgehog. What the fuck, yo? God damn! God damn! Sonic Heroes is for babies. Why did Sega make Shadow so edgy after Sonic Heroes? Why is Shadow the Hedgehog 2005 so dark? Maybe if dark was a synonym for garbage, then all of those games are really dark. Were Sonic Adventure through Sonic 06 too serious? Is anyone else bored of this game? Bye. Man, I sure hate how the meta era turned the games into bad Saturday morning cartoons, including simplifying the dialogue, making it cheesy. Yeah, I sure am glad that the 2000s games were not like this. Oh man, there's a special phrase for the Sonic franchise in general. The Sonic franchise is a double-edged sword. Sonic is not like My Little Pony or Battlefield where there's an obvious main target audience to the company that's looking to grasp. No, no, no. Sonic is for everyone, and that's the real double-edged sword. On one side, people hate how dull and boring the Sonic fanbase is becoming, because Sonic is becoming too serious. The other side hates slapstick, cute, chibi baby Sonic, and they want Sonic to be hardcore and cool again. Then you got the critics, who Sonic Team and Sega listens to the most. They either don't care about the story, or straight up dogpile the story because it's not Sonic. The more and more times Sonic tries to experiment, the more and more times this controversial debate continues. Sonic Heroes were and still is being debated if the game is good or not, but people were still confused by the obvious change after Sonic Adventure. Why is Sonic so giddy? He seems very annoying. This feels like a show. Shadow the Hedgehog in general was his own beast. Everyone was shitting on Shadow the Hedgehog because they were trying too hard to be serious. And that was the same with Sonic 06 too. This was the height where people were hating on serious Sonic. And it doesn't it doesn't matter if the stories was good. If Sonic was not family friendly, then it wasn't good. But you have to remember, we are Sonic fans. Sonic Colors, Sonic Lost World, and even Sonic Boom, people were begging for something to be dark. Sonic fans were getting sick of the Saturday morning jokey Sonic. And you know it was bad when people freaked out when Sonic stopped smiling in the Sonic trailer. Like, do you remember when Sonic Forces first teased? I cannot believe people freaked out because Sonic was not smiling. Now with the latest Sonic Frontiers, people are seeming to realize that the Sonic Frontiers stories is trying too hard to be serious and struggles to find the perfect middle ground. It's literally like a game of tug and war. The cycle would never end. And honestly, I don't see it ending anytime soon. But because I said the cycle seems to never end, doesn't mean that Sonic Team has done it right at least once in a while. There are a few selected games that are considered a perfect mix of both comedy and serious drama. As I mentioned before, it was the adventure games and Sonic Unleashed. There are some side games that get it right too but the mainline series is what the main people focus on and just look at this three games out of so many games that does this perfect mix of lighthearted silliness and serious tones there's a reason why these games are always being mentioned on what sonic games have the best story the adventure series has comedic rumbles like amy rose's crush on sonic rouge and knuckles butting heads with each other big the cat in general and eggman scratching his butt but it also has some serious rumbles shout the hedgehog in general, Maria's death, 
the genocide of the echidna race, Tails saving the day, and Eggman's realization of Gerald Robotnik. Sonic Unleashed outside the adventure series also has that soul too. Chips, antics, and excitement over the world, Dr. Eggman and Sonic's funny banter, the professor's goofy but simple nature for the comedic parts, then Chips' realization of who he is is the serious part. And it might not be heavy like Shadow the Hedgehog story, but it's the balance that makes Sonic a good game. Seriously, I don't hear this controversial debate when talking about the shows or movies. Well, mostly. Even though Sonic the Hedgehog is a multimedia franchise, the real conversations and all this turmoil always revolved around the games. Because Sonic fans, come on, let's be honest, they can release all the shows and mini YouTube shorts and movies all they want. Realistically, we care about the games the most. This franchise is a double-edged sword in both a good way in a bad way. There are kids, teens, adults, and even the elderly are huge fans of the Blue Rat, and they love their own version of Sonic because Sonic literally has done everything. So realistically, I don't see this controversial debate between comedic tone, lighthearted tone versus the dark and serious tone ever going away. And thinking that, all I gotta say is by saying this quote, the more you try to impress everyone, the more you won't impress anyone. Stop talking be quiet for several days salamico salamico brasil iphone iphone